All right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about how to do some of the advanced features in Canvas Studio. Um, so this assumes that you've already watched my first video and that you know how to actually create a video in Canvas Studio and how to get it into this screen. So once you've created it, I would always go ahead and give it a name. So in this case, this is me editing my Nearpod intro video. And then I'm going to hit edit. This is going to bring up my editing pane. So you'll notice a couple things. First of all, you can turn narration on and off. That's an option. You can add some music to the background if you want. You can show your cursor or not. In most cases, you're going to want to. If you recorded the webcam when you recorded, then you'll be able to turn that on and off as well. And you can turn it off in specific times throughout the recording if you had used that. So some of the tools I use most often. Let's look at some of these. So the first one I use all the time is an overlay. And there's a lot in this overlay menu. But one of the ones I use all the time, I overlay an image onto mine. So when I've created my videos, um, if you had to watch any of my videos, I always have my splash screen at the start. So I have this screen right here. And it'll take a second to process. And then it'll add that image on top of the video. So I want to go ahead and make that across my silence and then fade out when I start talking. So if you see here, this is my audio at the bottom. I can see where I was talking. These gray bars showed that there was silence during that period. And then this will be the fade out. So we're going to put that there. And now if I watch the video, I'll be able to see, I press the space bar. You can see how that faded out in my recording. Awesome. The other one I obviously put on top of this screen is I'm going to overlay again, and I'm going to overlay some text. So my text is going to be right here, and it's going to be Nearpod create from Google Slides. We can click on that. We can resize it if we want to. We can move it around, whatever we'd like to do. And then I'm going to center it on my screen. Something else you can do is what's called layering. So if I go to layering, I want my text over top of the cursor. So now the cursor, if it runs across this screen, you won't see it over the text. I also want to mess with my in and out. I want to be able to transition in for my text. So we're going to fade that in. We're going to drag it over a little bit. Whoops, going the other way. There we go. So if I've done something and I need to go back and edit it, when I click my spot in the video, I it will show me what's already here so I can select them and re-edit them. So I want to be able to re-edit that text. I want to drag that over just a little bit, and I want it to last a little bit longer than that. There we go. So now that intro, if I watch it as it comes in, it comes in on a blank. Ooh, I don't like that. I want that cursor below my image, so I'm going to go to image, and I'm going to layer again to bring that above my cursor. So now my intro is the way I want it. Perfect. Another thing I use a lot of is the blur effect. If you're doing a video that's going to include student names, you're going to want to blur things out in that video. You don't want those student names to be included in a video. So that's also in the overlay. So we're going to click blur. And let's just say I wanted to blur out um, this little section of the video right here. I can put that right there and I can resize my blur, what part gets blurred. So I'll put that there. And then again, I can pick where to start and stop that. And you'll notice as I drag this, it'll show you the different parts. So I want that to be blurred wherever that is. Perfect. And then wherever that section ends. One thing to note, notice I clicked here. So it moves my white bar. So now when I'm dragging, I can see what I'm dragging past. If my white bar is somewhere else and I start dragging, it won't show me where my mark is. So I don't want that. I want this one here. So we're going to drag it over and put it and then click OK. So now my blur is there. I don't actually want that blur there, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out. But just so you know, that would be how you do it.
And if I decide I want to remove it, I just open it up again and remove this edit. In this video, I had a lot of loading times. There's a lot of times where my video was just, or my content was just loading, and I want to go ahead and shorten some of that. So we're going to click here where the silence is, because I know that's where I'm going to load. And I'm going to go to Tools. And I'm going to go to Speed. And I want to speed up this section. Notice when you put something in silence, a silence chunk, it typically expands out that entire silence chunk automatically, but I can resize it I want. So if I want to do not include the very beginning of that or not include the very end, I can click those arrows to move it to where my cursor was. I can also drag to different spots if I want to. So in this case, I do actually want to trim out and speed up the whole silence. And I want to make it three times faster. So that shortens that down. And actually, you know what I did? I knew I didn't want any of this here. So I'm going to speed that up, and then I'm actually going to cut all of this out so I'm not saying things twice. So I'm going to hit Tools, and I'm going to go to Cut. So it's going to put my mark there. and I want to cut all the way to here where it actually loads so I can shorten this video down. So now I just took all of that clip out. So here's a time where I can speed up again because I don't need all of this. So again, speed, speed up. So in terms of other tools that I use often, one that I use is I might find that my narration didn't quite work the way I wanted to do it and I want to re-narrate a section. So for example, I noticed when I was doing this, this isn't a very clean edit, listen. So you can't see where I said here. So it sounds a little funky. So what I want to do is I want to redo that narration. So I'm going to do the narrate option. I'm going to choose the section I want to re-narrate. And in this case, it's going to be right here. And then when I hit start, it's going to take me to a new window that's going to give me sort of what you're used to with your, your microphone settings and everything else. So I'm going to pick my microphone that I actually want to use. Good. And now when I hit record, it's going to be ready to retake my audio. So watch this. And then we're going to click get add-ons, which is right here. So let's just see if that sounds better. Good. I like that better than the other one. So now we click done. And now my new audio is on top of that clip. So now I don't have to worry about the issues I had before where that wasn't very clean audio. Those are some of the more advanced features that I use often in Canvas Studio. Once you're all done, just like before, you're going to click done and then upload the video. I hope this helped you out with some of the more advanced features. As you keep going, you'll get better about stacking different things on top of each other, stacking, stacking different effects, and making these things cleaned up. So those big ones, of course, the cut and the overlays are the two big ones. Being able to re-narrate is a nice feature as well. I hope those things helped you out. As always, if you have comments or questions, feel free to reach out to me, bradley.streffler at ocps.net, and I'd be glad to help you guys out there, and I hope everybody has a great day.